Hey everyone, thank you very much for uh, for joining me this this morning. Um, I know on the the West Coast it's been a little bit rainy, um, but overall I think uh, everybody's kind of looking forward to a little bit more sunshine, and uh, and we're gonna get this thing rolling. So today is gonna be the fourth episode of our webinar series, and fourth and final. Um, we ran already three. Uh, we're gonna run one more today. And then we'll kind of, you know, take a step back, reassess, understand. I might email you guys and ask you for like quickly your opinion, like a small little survey. I promise it won't take more than two, three minutes. Um, but it'll give us kind of an idea of, you know, should we do this again? How you want it done? Maybe we cut it up into pieces. Maybe we do more. What use cases you want to see done more? Um, and kind of go from there. And then we'll, of course, kickstart things off again. Um, but once again, this is uh, episode four of the webinar series. Thank you very much for joining. Um, today, we're going to be talking about HexoFi, HexoFi plus AI. So what HexoFi is, it's a, a browser extension. Uh, it is a one-click scraper. So it's a one-click browser extension scraper. And it works like magic, as you can see. Um, so first things first, very straightforward. What you got to do is go to hexofi.com. Uh, here you'll already see it. If you have Chrome, click on that. If you have uh, Firefox, click on that and just add the extension to your browser. If you look at my top right corner here, you'll see the little yellow hexofi button. And that is the um, hexofi extension. So once you see that yellow on your bar, you're already good to go. And you should be able to scrape stuff from different sites. Um, there's multiple sites that Hexofy currently has and you can do. Um, just a quick list if you scroll down here, then these are all the popular ones, uh, Google, Crunchbase, X, uh, Amazon, LinkedIn, YouTube, um, Yelp, um, you know, Instagram, whatever, like the really big ones, basically all the popular ones. And we're adding more as we go along. Uh, but overall, I just want to show you how it works. Um, and if you have any questions, just drop them in the chat. Uh, and at the end, we'll, we'll get to them uh, one by one. Alrighty, let's get started. So um, I've already downloaded Hexofy, as you can see here in the browser extension. And I'm just going to start with like a couple of cool use cases, the ones that we see a lot. I'm going to start with Zillow. Um, a lot of real estate scrapings use this. So um, just like I just randomly clicked on something for like Ontario, New York, uh, you know, ran a search. This is what the search brought. It showed, you know, these houses, you know, it has these 18 estates here, Ontario, New York, and so on. So very, very straightforward. You click on search. Now, let's say, you know, I want to grab all of this data instead of copy pasting, you know, the price and then the name and then the address and then and then copy pasting the second one's name, the second address. All I do is I click on Hexofy. And just like magic, it scrapes all of the data from this website, just like that. And then I'm going to click on export to Google Sheets right here. It's going to open up my Google Sheets and it's going to send all that data that it already scraped, bam, into my Google Sheets. There's the address. There's the price. I know two, two bedrooms, uh, four bedrooms, for two bath, three bedrooms, two bath, four bedrooms, two bath, square footage. And of course, it has the actual URL for that specific property. So again, very, very straightforward from here. You can save this, run it, um, you know, do whatever you want with it. But again, instead of copy pasting it one by one, just like magic, click, bam, you have your Google Sheets ready to run. Um, you know, this also works for the inside pages of Zillow. Like if I just go here and I click on like, let's say this property, it's going to pop up this page. Oh, my internet is a little bit slow today. So it's going to pop up the actual inside of the page. And again, from here, there's a little bit more like the little description here, you know, just listed open Saturday, February, blah, blah, blah. Um, so if I want to grab, you know, data from this page, I just click on that just like this. Click on Hexofy. And once again, just like magic, it's going to grab everything you see on the screen. I'm just going to open that up so you can see it. URL, price, facilities. There's the address. That's the image. And those are the details. Just listed open Saturday. I'm going to scroll down here so you can see it. Just listed open Saturday. And of course, the agent info. Uh, in this case, it's going to be Howard Hanna, phone number, and so on. So again, one click scrape, boom, and you're done. Now, this is really cool in itself already, but on top of this, we also have a very awesome thing, which is the AI integration. So for example, if this is what you're seeing on your screen, all of these pages, I'm gonna click on Hexofy here. 
once again. It's going to grab all of that data that we're seeing on the screen. And then here, um, instead of just grabbing, you know, capture data and clicking on Google Sheets, or you can download, obviously, the CSV or, you know, save it to Google Sheets, um, you can click on this AI Assistant button. And this is really, really cool because what this does is basically it scrapes all of the data that you're seeing on your screen, it sends it to the AI, and then you can prompt the AI to do something for you. So for example, what is the average prop? property price. Oop. Misspelled property. And I'm just going to ask that question right there. The average property price among the listed properties is $228,422.22. Right? So again, it's feeding all of this data that's scraping into the AI, and then you can ask the AI any question you want about that data, about that data source, about that data you know, set, and it'll answer your question straight up. Um, and I'll show you how you can use this more and more as we go along. So that was sort of just an example from, from Zillow. Um, I also wanted to do Amazon again. I just searched like iPhone 14 Pro Max phone case and just brought like a, a bunch of phone cases, right? And then again, I'm just going to click on this Hexofy button. Click on the Hexofy button. That's going to scrape all of the data that you see on the screen. My internet's really slow today for some reason. And something went wrong, of course. Are you guys hearing me okay? I hope you can hear me okay. Yeah, my internet's a little bit wonky. It's okay, I'll move on, not a big deal. Um, a Google Maps, so I just searched nail salon New York. Uh, it popped up all of this stuff, you know, Manhattan area. And again, instead of copy pasting them one by one, I'm just gonna run through Hexofy here. Hopefully my internet will allow it to do so. There we go. Yay, so it crap, you know, captured all that data. And I'm just gonna export that so you can see what it would look like. And again, it's just basically copy pasting all of those nail salon data into a sheet. The name, so Porsche Light, Planta Queen, RA Sushi Bar. Um, oh, that was my previous scrape. I searched for sushi in the first one. Here's the second one. A nail art Russian uh, manicure, uh, Sunday's non-toxic nail salon. There's the ratings. Those are the Google Maps URL, um, the address, open and close hours, and the website, if they have it in this case, they didn't understandable. Nail salons usually don't have websites. Uh, the cool thing about this is because I already scraped it once and I sent it to... Um, um, my Google Sheets, as you can see, and I did it again, it just, it saves it on top. So it just keeps adding more and more and more. So I did, for example, a sushi search. This is what I did here, as you can see there, sushi New York. And then here I did a nail salon New York, and it's just kind of bringing the results for the sushi and then the results. And if I do another search and I click on Hexofy, another search, on click, it'll, she's, it'll just keep populating this Google Sheet. Now, obviously, if you want in separate files, you can download the CSV or you can send it to Google Sheets and have it separated. Um, but right now I'm just exporting them one by one because I want to kind of collect them all in one place. And then maybe I'll save it after that. So that's sort of the idea. It gives you a little bit of flexibility. Um, go, going on to YouTube. So the cool thing about YouTube is you can scrape search for something in this case for example chat gpt and i can scrape all of this um, i can also go into a channel and scrape all of the channel info i can also go into a specific video and scrape all of the video info um, so again this is pretty awesome uh, i'm just gonna do the video info right now so you can see how that works let's say this is like the video you want and i'm gonna click on the hexo 5 button that's gonna scrape all that data and uh and we have this thing that we built in that just has like a social media link. Oh, again, my internet's not working for some reason. Let me refresh that. Yeah, the video is not even loading. I'm having internet issues today. It's okay, it happens. 21st century. All right, I'll just move on. Um, but basically, you can just run it on anything here. And again, it'll scrape the data as you just saw. I'm going to move on into uh, to LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a little bit different because we're scraping for more like leads. So it's also going to scrape email addresses and stuff like that. I'm just showing you myself just to give you an idea. I'm going to pop that Hexofy once. It's going to scrape all of that data, name, last name, so on, so forth. I'm just close that up just to make sure it's not taking a bandwidth. Here we go. And I'm going to click on Hexofy. Um, 
This is going to download all that information. So it also downloads things like, for example, about me, what I wrote in my about, my bio, um, you know, some of my uh, the location. So there's a lot of information, my profession. There's a lot of information that's grabbing from here. Um, so what the cool thing is that you can not only, you know, kind of do lead gen off of this if you're just kind of scrolling through LinkedIn, but what I really like to do is I go to AI assistance and then I pop in, um, you know, like a really cool prompt, like write a personalized email to this person, you know, pitching them um, Google Cloud services, for example, right? Services. Um, so this is what, what it's going to do. It's actually going to pop out an email for me. Uh, and it's reading, you know, through my data. And it'll actually personalize that email to me specifically based on what it learned from me, right? Um, with Hack, with Hexax Innovate AS Sidekicks and Google Cloud Services, you can take your business to new heights from seamless data storage and blah, 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 right? So um, it kind of customizes it. I'd love to discuss how Hexact can benefit from Google Cloud Services in more detail. Please let me know. So it's kind of giving you an idea of exactly what it can offer. Um, you, un you know, as Chief Business Development Officer at Hexact, you're undoubtedly aware of the importance of leveraging cutting edge technologies to stay ahead of the competition. That's why I want to reach out to introduce you to Google Cloud Services. So again, it's kind of personalizing that email based on that LinkedIn data that it's pulling, that it's kind of downloading, uh, that's parsing. And again, you can just kind of click on that export to Google Sheet and it'll pop everything into Google Sheet for you and you can download it or you can just download the CSV and upload it into your CRM system in one shot and you know that sort of the thing. Again, I did it twice because I ran it before we started the before we start this session. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, double doing it now because I ran it twice and within the next 15, you know, last 15 minutes. I'm going to try YouTube once more because YouTube was pretty cool. I just want to make sure, um, again, I'm having problems. Like it's not loading YouTube for some reason, but I'm going to give it one more shot because I do have a really cool case study for it. And I wanted to make sure I also share that. All right, I'm going to pause the video, click on Hexofy. Hopefully in this case, it'll scrape. The blacklist red wants to represent himself in court. So let's see if, uh, there we go, awesome. Now my internet's back. Basically it pulled all of the info there. Uh, and then here I'm just gonna go to AI Assistant and I'm gonna click on this one, it says social post, bang, click on that. And that's gonna generate a social media post for this video. So basically all I have to do here is just copy this into you know my, my Instagram, uh, my X or where, whatever account I want. Exciting news for fans of the blacklist. Red is taking matters into his own hands by representing himself in court. Check out the latest episode on YouTube now for all jaw dropping twists and turns. The blacklist, you know, hashtag blacklist, hashtag beauty. YouTube has a courtroom drama, and of course the link to this to this um, video. So this kind of automatically generates social you know, media posts for you. Uh, the same goes for summarize. It's an automatic function that'll just kind of summarize. And obviously on the YouTube video, it's kind of pointless. Um, but if you have like, yeah, it's just going to say text contains this and that. Um, but if you're on like a LinkedIn profile, uh, maybe if you're even on like a Yelp review uh, site uh, and you're kind of downloading a lot more data and you just want to summarize into like a short version of it, uh, that's the button you should be using. Um, so once again, just real quick, uh, very simple one click point and click scraper. Um, you know, Hexofy, don't forget, download the extension. So as soon as you go to hexofy.com, either Chrome or Firefox, click on it, go to the store, download the extension. It'll pop up a little yellow button here on the top right corner. And then from there, it's very simple. Whatever site you're on that you want to just kind of download that data uh, and save it, you just click on that Hexofy button. And you're and you're golden and you're good to go. Uh, if you want to add a little bit of uh, you know sugar and spice, um, you can always use that AI function as well, just to kind of play around with that data and process that data in the way that you see fit. Um, that's it for today, guys. That's all I had. Um, you know, I again, it was supposed to be 15 minutes, and we kept it into 15 minutes, so all good to go. I'm going to quickly check my chat. Um, I'm going to quickly check the chat here and make sure that there's no questions that popped up. Um, no, I don't see anything. Uh, so good, good to go. Um, I don't think we have any questions. So, um, yeah, I think, um, makes sense. Hexofy doesn't really need any questions and answer. There's no real big Q and A. It's just a point and click. So you should be good to go. Thank you very much for joining us on episode four on our, uh, Hexact webinar series. This is our fourth and final episode for this series specifically. We're going to take half a step back. Uh, I'm going to be emailing you guys and please, if you do, please, please, 
you know, fill out that survey. It'll only take you two, three minutes. It just helps us out a ton uh, to know more about, you know, what we did wrong, what we did right, what we can improve, uh, what use cases you'd like to see coming up. Uh, and of course, we'll take that into consideration and kind of use that as ammunition for the next series or the next, uh, you know, webinar that we do. Thank you very much, guys, for joining. You've been, you guys have been awesome throughout all these four episodes. And uh, I hope I see you guys soon. Bye.